This video illustrates how to find the most common words in a PDF document. This is based on a comment I received on a video which introduced the Pi PDF2 package. This is a step-by-step -step guide and the code is available on GitHub. The link is in the description. If you're looking for 100% data fun and 0% entertainment, please consider subscribing. I always recommend using virtual environments when working with Python packages. It is the best approach to control versions and dependencies. Step one is to create a folder and add a PDF document. And we have done that here. Step two is to open the command line in that folder using CMD. Type Python minus M then for virtual environment and add the name of your virtual environment. Now go to GitHub and get the requirements text file. Step five, we have to activate our virtual environment. We just put a dot, which is for the current working directory. Um, and then we go into our new environment. We refer to scripts and then we state activate. And now you see in brackets the name of your virtual environment. Now, once you put your requirements file into the folder, you can do the following. pip install minus r requirements and that will install all the packages. Next, I suggest to start a main.py file where we import our module, which we call rank um, and a function that will do all the work for us. I use Sublime, you can use any other text editor you want. And in rank.py, we now start working on our function. First, we need a few import statements. We import PyPDF2, which enables us um, to access text from PDF files. We obtain the counter class from collections. And uh, finally, we use um, the stop words um, in the package in GenSim. Now, stop words are things like and, the, a, and so on, which of course would always rank very highly in terms of frequency. So it makes perfect sense to remove these stop words. So the idea is first, we need to obtain the text from the PDF file. We will do this page by page. Then we um, convert the string after some modifications into a list. And then we start ranking words in that list according to their frequency. So first we assign the PDF file. I call this doc for document and I pass in file name. So of course then I have to specify file name as an argument in my word rank function. Next I obtain the number of pages and later we will combine all the words into a list. And I'm starting with an empty list. So just open closed brackets. Now I create a for loop. I will go through all the pages and obtain the text. And then we have a look at the text and we think about structure. So the extract text method, which I call on the current page, will obtain the text from that page. It's useful to have a print function and just look at um, how the text looks like and also have a look at the type it has. Is I will um, head over to my main file and simply call the function here and just test it. Let's run python main.py and see what happens. Okay, so now we went through all the pages of the document um, and we know that the class we obtain is a string. So each page is one string. It would make sense to convert everything into a lower case because otherwise it would be regarded as a separate occurrence. And then we should also remove the stop words. We convert everything into lower case. So we just reassign it using the lower method. And then we should remove our stop words. 
And for that, we um, use the remove stop words function inside um, this um, package. I call this the text filter. I remove stop words and I pass in text. So that's a function which we use. And then it would be useful to split the string into a list. So it's our filtered text and then I use the split method. And let me just have a look how that looks like. We don't have to do it for all the pages. Let's just focus on, on a page and change that later. And now you see that our text um, is broken into a list of um, individual words. And you also see that um, stop words, at least most of them, seem to be removed, but you sometimes have, of course, um, like, you know, commas and so on that might um, mess that up. So we have to do some further work to optimize um, our output. So next we have to remember that we operate here page by page. So if we want to add um, these additional words um, into a list, we should update this after each and every page. So I suggest to use our all words list and just add the additional items to that list. Now it would be tempting to use an append method here and just put in the text list like that. But this is not exactly what we want, because what we want is we want to include each and every item of the new text list into our existing list of words. The append method would take the whole list and put it into the empty list in our case and would add um, these lists um, page by page. So you obtain a list inside a list. It's not what you want. So actually what you want is the extend method. Yeah, so try this at home and you see the difference. Otherwise you will um, end up with a few error messages later. Next, I want to do some further tidy up. Now working on the all words list. First thing I do is I get rid of any symbols. Um, it's handy to use the is all num method on that. So this will filter out words that are not um, either um, numeric or um, alphabetical. And for that, I use list comprehension. So I simply um, put all the words in that qualify. I just call this word for word in all words. So this is the original list. And then I put a condition here if word dot is all num. So now it would be good to get the top words out of it. So I refer to counter and I pass in my filtered words that are alphanumerical. And then I use the most common method. And then of course we have to say, okay, what, what do we want to have? The top five, top 10. Ideally, I would like to actually make this flexible. I don't like any hard coding. So we just call this the top number and we pass in the top number as an argument. So we can do something like that. We might have a default setting. So I can just put 10 as default and we can override this. Yeah? So we can still just ignore this and use default. If we want, we can change it. I think that might be a good way to handle it. Um, and of course, then we have to think, well, what do we want to return? The obvious thing to return is the list of words. Yeah? So we can just return the top words. So when we call the function, I can simply refer here also to top words if I want to and simply print what I obtain. So we know it's um, most likely a UK based company. So that's um, interesting. Um, and we have um, a few more hints. It's Marx here and Spencer. So obviously that's Marx and Spencer. Of course, as always, you will modify 
um, this code for your own liking. If you have any further comments or questions, leave a note down below. Um, again, if I if I find um, your um, question um, quite um, you know interesting and relevant for other people, um, I will try to make another video. Great. I see you in the next one.